Welcome to the Family and Consumer Science Summer 2024 Updates. I am Valerie Williams. And I am Gwen Turner. We are going to start off with the pathway updates for the school year 24-25. Beginning in school year 24-25, we will have a new pathway called the Hospitality and Tourism Management Pathway. The first course in the prerequisite of this pathway is the FH31 Hospitality and Tourism Management 1. The status for the school year is going to be pilot, and proof of learning is also going to be a local. I will be providing several opportunities for professional development that will be in the form of a virtual pilot check-in during the school year. Um, should be on the second Tuesday of each month. Please make sure to keep up with the FCS PLC Moodle for any postings and updates on these pilot check-ins. Also within this course is the American Hotel and Lodging Certified Guest Service Professional, also referred to sometimes as Guest Service Gold. Teachers are encouraged to earn this certificate, certificate this year, but the plan is for in school year 25-26 for this to be a course delivery requirement, but students will be able to be given the opportunity for this certifi certification in this course. FH32 Hospitality and Tourism Management 2 is the concentrator course in the Hospitality and Tourism Management pathway. The status for the school year 24-25 will be pilot, and the proof of learning is a credential, the Hospitality and Tourism Specialist. Throughout the school year, we will have various opportunities for pilot meetings. One will be held in December as an introductory to level two, and then we will begin in January with pilot meetings. Also, the Hospitality and Tourism Specialist credential has 100 work hours. These have some flexible options. The American Hotel and Lodging Association has shared that the work hours for this credential will be flexible. How, how hours can be accumulated in a simulation such as Knowledge Matters. Also, hospitality and tourism work experience will count. Additionally, CTSO or other volunteer events where outside of classroom hours are accumulated because of hospitality events will count. More information will be shared about the work hours during pathway rollout sessions at summer conference and during the pilot meetings in the school year. There have been a couple of changes to the FH13 Culinary Arts and Hospitality 3 course. After an extensive review, this course has been added to the inherently honors list. Also, the proof of learning has an update. Starting in school year 24-25, the Pre-Professional and Assessment Certification in Culinary Arts, also known as the Pre-PAC in Culinary Arts, will be the only credential that counts towards the proof of learning. The ACF Certified Fundamentals Cook and ProStart National Certificate of Achievement are industry-aligned credentials with this course. A district will mark one of these two options as not offered district-wide. Another change is to FH14 Culinary Arts and Hospitality 4 applications. Again, after the extensive review, this course has also been added to the inherently honors list. FE12 Early Childhood Education 2 is moving into standard status for the 24-25 school year. The proof of learning for this course will be local. Professional development opportunities will be announced at summer conference and posted on the FCS Moodle for teachers. FE22 Teaching as a Profession 2 and FE23 Teaching as a Profession Field Experience are moving into standard status for the 24-25 school year. The POL for both of these courses will be local. Again, opportunities will be announced at summer conference for PD opportunities in this pathway. There are a couple notes. We have two new articulation agreements for the 20 that started in the 23-24 school year. These are UNC Charlotte and Appalachian State University. Our previous articulation agreements were with Western Carolina, NCANT, UNC Wilmington, Meredith, 
and the community college system. These previous articulations are also still valid in addition to the new articulation agreements. FE60 child development will stay in field tests for the 24-25 school year. The proof of learning for this course is a CTE state assessment. Opportunities for professional development will be announced to teachers at summer conference and posted on the FCS Moodle throughout the school year. This course has standards and content revisions that were announced on the FCS Moodle this past spring. Please have teachers download the most recent curriculum guides from the FCS Moodle for use this coming year. Now we will move on to some updates about FCS programs. Starting in school year 24-25, all Family and Consumer Sciences courses that utilize the Center for Family and Consumer Sciences, CCFCS, for instructional activities will transition to a North Carolina Canvas course. The Blackboard user accounts will be closing this fall. There will be a session on Thursday, July 18th at 3.15 during summer conference to inform and train teachers and those providing CTE instructional support on how to access these courses. We will also hold fall webinars that will be announced on the FCS Moodle. All CTE personnel will be able to have access to these Canvas courses at no additional cost. Professional development opportunities for family and consumer science teachers are still being confirmed. Professional development opportunities will be posted on the FCS Moodle. Please encourage teachers to attend these professional development opportunities as they align with their courses. We will have trainings in ServeSafe, Interior Design Hand Sketching, Counseling and Mental Health, Child Development and Early Childhood Education, FCS District Opportunities, and much more. FCCLA is in the beginning phases of events for students for the school year 24-25. Our state leadership conference will be March 31st through April 2nd at the Cory Convention Center. The culinary competition will be February 21st at Johnson & Wales University. All other events will be posted on the FCS Moodle as they are ready. Thank you for all that you do for Family and Consumer Sciences. And as always, please feel free to contact myself, Gwen Turner, or Valerie Williams with any of your Family and Consumer Sciences content questions. You can see our emails on this slide.